Hello guys, and welcome to this initial review of the Thrustmaster TCA Airbus Squadron. In this video, I'll be walking through the initial setup and point out the good stuff and not so good stuff about this throttle quadrant after using it for 24 hours. First of all, I am terribly sorry for the poor audio quality in the previous video where we unboxed the Trustmaster TCA Officer Pack. Nevertheless, if you haven't seen that, please go ahead and click the card above. As mentioned, I am giving my initial review of the Throttle Quadrant as I am sure you're all curious and excited to learn more about it. First of all, to get things started, you will need to download the drivers from the Trustmaster support website. Installation is quite straightforward, but it's best to restart your computer after it completes. And once that's done, you can go to the game controller's control panel to verify that it is detected. The feel of the throttle is really good. The switches feel sturdy, and the levers have a good friction to it. But although they claim it to be very precise, I feel that it needs a little bit more polish. For one, the X and Y axis which is used for the engine 1 and 2 throttles doesn't seem to have the same alignment as noted here in the control panel properties and in the Flight Simulator 2020 controller settings. I just hope that this will be solved by a calibration feature which I hope they will release soon. As of now, I can't find the calibration option anywhere. On X-Plane, the calibration feature seems to do the trick. As you may know by now, at the time of launch, the Throttle Quadrant is not yet fully supported in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Thrustmaster has released an abnormal procedure to guide users on launch on how to map the controller. So I'm really hoping that the patch will soon be released for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Generally, you just need to go to Options and then Controller then click on TCA QEng 1 and 2. Once there, don't panic if you don't see any buttons to assign. You just need to select all in the filter and you should see all available functions to map. Follow the suggested mappings as per the abnormal procedure document and you should see similar to what I have here. Now, on to the not so good stuff. I'm not sure if it is due to the pending update or not, but I can't seem to get my engines to idle. Even at the idle position, my engines are still at around 21 to 25% of thrust. As you can see here, the throttles are at the idle position, but my engines are still showing 21% and 25% and are definitely not in idle. The lever needs to be pulled a little more to get into the idle position. Reverse thrust doesn't work as expected either. That is why they have suggested to map the right auto throttle button to the decrease throttle function so that you can press that instead. The position of the detents doesn't also map out accordingly out of the box. So you still need to guess where the position of the lever is when setting the auto thrust mode. In conclusion, my initial experience of the TCA Airbus Quadrant with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is not realistic at all. Nevertheless, the build quality is really good and the hardware itself is promising. I just hope that the release patch will soon be available, and I will surely keep you posted once that's up. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to my channel to keep updated on my latest video. Hope to see you on the next one.